hey guys welcome back to my channel so on today's episode <laughs> in today's video i have my people okay you guys know all of them already <laughs> but yeah today we're going to be making pancakes so just, we're actually supposed to be making breakfast too but i decided to turn it into interview mm -hmm. i don't know what this one is but yeah we're supposed to make breakfast we're making pancakes with flour yeah and we are also Brand. okay yes cora thank you Brand. and then we are also talking with elizabeth and the miss amarachi no today is elizabeth <laughs> So we're going to be asking Elizabeth about her life in an orphanage because Elizabeth pretty much grew up in an orphanage here in Nigeria. So I'm curious about how you know her life was in an orphanage, how orphanages are run in Nigeria. I don't have any first-hand experience. I just know what's like I just know gist. I've never really met someone that stayed in an orphanage before. So I mean that's before Elizabeth. So yeah, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Thank okay, you. so we have to be making the food though. Um, Cora, you're yeah, helping me, right? First question is, when did you get, when did you arrive at an orphanage, like at the orphanage? At what age? Then, Cora, at the age of 12. At the age of what? 12. You are 12 years old. Okay, so when you first um, arrived at the orphanage, what, how did you feel? Like, what was your, what were you thinking when you first arrived there? Okay, when I got there, I met other children and they welcomed me. I was mm. playing. The day I went there, we were all playing. Their mm. sister introduced me to all of them. Then they now gave me some water that was taking care of me. Mm. Like, for the time. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Was okay, then. Mm. okay, so when you got there, like you just saw other children playing. Yes. Like how many were people? Mm. Like, As of then, you were 50. 50 inside the orphanage. Yeah, then I was 51. Making them 51. Eh, yeah. so you came to scatter their number. <laughs> <laughs> so, but how did you feel when you got there? Like, okay, when you first started staying there, I'm sure as a child, you wouldn't really have much thought, thought about it. But when you started staying there, did you enjoy your experience there? Or were you like, ah, I beg, I want to leave this place? Mm -hmm. When I started feeling that way, that was when they were like, when I'm facing stress, mm. okay. when they were giving me policy, like, when we got there, I don't like sleeping in the afternoon. Mm. <laughs> so after school, when she starts to go and sleep, we we'll remain in the refectory. So she will be like, anybody that not sleep, they should give her nails. Like mm. when she comes, she'll give us punishment. You can clear grass, you can read. Mm. It's a strong day. I was not crying. I was not seeing how to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so but how long did you stay there? How many years did you stay there? Instead of nine years. Nine years. Um, so who were the people that were taking care of you guys at the orphanage? No, no, as in people that were doing the work, like who was cleaning, arranging, okay. cooking, all those things. We had cook. Okay, you guys had a cook. Yeah. What of cleaners? Did people have cleaners? No, that was when they just started the place. Like okay. the children were Okay. So okay, then another... Okay, continue. We were the one doing the cleaning, like everybody have your money duty, like you know what to do, like Okay, like normal secondary yes, school. Yes, when you wake up in the morning, you have way to work. Like mm. you have people that, that watch the toilet for that day. Okay. You know what you are doing for the day. Then we had it was a nanny that was cleaning the refectory. That's the dining. Mm. Yeah, she was working. Okay, you thinking of so okay, people had babies there. Yes, like all these um, mad people like if they just give birth, they will mm. take their baby away from them. Mm. Then them they will take care of the children, like somebody will adopt them. Okay. But aside mad people, eh, did they have people that just brought ch children to orphanage? Like, mm -hmm. like you know, maybe women that have unwanted pregnancy cannot take care of the babies. Did they have yes. people that were bringing babies? Yes, that but even? before you bring the, the child, then you have to agree that you will not come back for the child, so that they will train the child, child. where okay. and get the child out. Okay. I know there was a lady that brought her child that she didn't want the child. She wanted to throw the child, so somebody advised her to bring the child there. Mm. She brought the child, but the child now is in America, doing well. Are you serious? Okay, someone adopted the child. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you see? That's why I always when I hear people that go and abandon children, I just I just see it as wickedness. Like the child they lady try aborting the child. Mm. The child refused to flush. She was thinking that the child had flushed, but that then after some months she discovered that the child was, was still there. Mm. So when they gave birth to the child, the child the child could not work for like three years. Hmm. So, but the child But how work. long was she, how long did the child stay with her? 
she just put to bed and she wanted to throw the child away, so okay. somebody advised her to bring. To bring the child to an orphanage. So when she came there, she had to get the police report and mm. she don't want the child and she mm-hmm. will never come back for the child. Mm. Then mm. another girl again, she gave birth to another girl. Mm. Now she want to take her back. So what of the other children there? Like, why people with the same number of children? Like when you came, is it the same people that were there till you left? Or some people left, some people came, some people left? Yeah, they are going and come. Mm. Like there are some, like if you finish your SS3, like how the place mm. work, mm. like they try to help you till you finish your SS3. And after SS3, if you still want to further, some of my up to training in school, or they will put you into a trade that you'll be doing. Mm. But at least you should have something doing before okay. you leave the place. Like there are some girls there that they are learning tailoring. Okay. Since they were five, they finished their SS3. Although they didn't make their SS3, they were ex, so mm. they gave them something doing, they were working. Okay. Then the other one, she left. But all of them, they are gone. Mm. So when they leave, eh, okay, they just leave and then they go and start life yeah. on their own. But is it really easy? Have you, do, do you have people that left orphanage eh, without somebody's help? Like without how you came here now or, you know, going to meet somebody? Do you have people that just left the orphanage and on their own, they just succeeded? Mm. Like just maybe they got like, big jobs or something. No. No, no. They're still going to school. Okay. But they're still struggling. Uh, uh, do you have anybody that finished university after the orphanage? Like they're still going to university. Like now they are okay. training them in university. Who is training them? That sister. Like they are. Mm, as in the orphanage. Yeah. yeah. So it's a good at orphanage. That's boy and girl. I, abroad, I used to hear stories of people that went to orphanage from there. You know, became. But from Nigeria, I hardly now. hear. They are going to school. Okay. Okay. What did you not like about your? No, no. Let's talk on what you liked about your life in an orphanage. <laughs> my life, they like, it actually changed my life because I was really stubborn. <laughs> like. No, I know. No, we know. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> growing up, I was really stubborn when I mm. get there. Like because as I was growing up, they don't stupid me. Mm. When I got there, they were beating me. Like. <laughs> I was trying to correct me, so I she, I she beat me or not. Are you serious? <laughs> because growing up, they don't used to beat me or not. Mm. managed to beat me or not. Mm. So I don't used to eat. I refuse to eat. She will not call me later. That's the sister. The mm. sister. She will not call me and explain to me. She will not say. And she's trying to help me mm. like, to become somebody that yeah. they are not beating me because they hate me. So yeah. she started talking to me. And like she keep correcting us. She advised us as girls mm. how to live. And, good person society mm-hmm. yeah so that's a good part now what else again now what else did you enjoy about the orphanage did you have friends like you i mean as as all of you were in the orphanage they're basically like your siblings or your sisters yeah, and, friends, yeah. yeah so how was it yeah, well, okay but it was as i just went there because there are some girls that's the one that we think is a street now mm. <laughs> those are these bully us yeah a lot <laughs> yes because we just got there Okay, they will give us now. They to give us now. Ten o'clock, they will give us now. They will eat by two or mm. by twelve. During holiday, eat by twelve. They will give us the same quantity of snacks. Then after a while, we will go and keep our own. We don't, we don't like eating immediately. We will go mm. and keep it to eat later. After them, they will keep their own. They will come back. Okay, you just better this way. Come and give me some more. Mm. And if you don't give them, they will be like, they will be angry, and mm. they will be looking for something that they will report it, even if you don't do anything. Mm. So it was when they left. When them they left, when I discovered that we're not living in peace, like mm. we're just like sisters, we're not understanding ourselves. Mm. So, um, but okay, right now, are you still in touch with people that you went to orphanage with? Yeah. Okay, you guys still communicate. Yeah. You guys still talk. Okay. Even with the sister, you to call her. Mm, I'm very hungry. Okay. So, what was the things you didn't like about the orphanage? Okay, that was when the sister that was there, the one that started with us, they changed her. So another place, then they brought a new one. That one was, she always tell us, I don't have your time. I'm not here for you people. Are you serious? So who is she there for? Mm. That's what she keep telling us. Then when it's time for her to give us supplies, she will not give us like, mm. they will ask her, she'll be like, don't disturb me. Are you serious? She'll just keep her, because she doesn't smile. Mm. She said, don't disturb me. As you can see, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's a play don't mean now when you're done. Mm. So, I have a <laughs> She will not go. She will not leave her. Then later she will never stay and saw us. Like then when she managed to call me, she will not say, Elizabeth, come and go and, and take supply. 
Mm. They don't want to take. She will be like, you. Would, if the thing is not complete, she will not give you another one. I see. Maybe she can manage herself. Or she will give us like two for girls. That's the same as we used to use. She give mm. you two for girls, two for boys. One toothpaste for girl, one toothpaste for boys. I'm not going to give it to them. As yeah. a one toothpaste for all the boys, like all the girls. Boys they were fifteen, I think. Mm. All the boys are fifteen. Girls were sixteen. She will not give us one for all of us, and that toothpaste now. We not take all like two months. Are you serious? But before that one is per person, you mm. not use it for one month. Mm. She will not give us one. We we'll use it like two months. She will not ask the answers like that. Uh-uh. Then if we go to report her, to not be like you have gone to report me. Then mm. when the sister, the big sister, when she discovered that it was her relative that told her when she came there, mm. because they used to come there for a little too. Mm. When she came, she was like. Before, if they come, we go and get supply for them. But when they came, everything changed. When she asked me for supply, I told her that sister and I said. Mm. So she was like, OK, I'm going to tell sister. So she went to report her. So after that, she called me. She was like, why did you not come and tell me? Why did you not come and tell her what? Like, why did I not go and report the sister to her? OK, OK. Mm. And I told her that if we tell her and she, and she call her, she will be angry with us. Mm. Yes. And sometimes she'll carry down the skit and come and throw for us. I swear. <laughs> we don't like it. Mm. She knows that we don't like having the skit and she's always giving us for snacks. Mm. She'll never add juice to it. I don't know. So they will say, just throw it for every state. Mm. Okay, what does you not like about the orphanage? Mm. Although at the point, like, they do give us food well. Like, giving us food is okay. It's mm. just to cook. She'll tell you that there's no ingredient like to cook it. Mm. She'll just cook it. So but when, as sweet as what you expect, like uh, no what you expect food. from your mother. Uh, so when you're there, do you miss home? Did you feel like running away? Did you say I beg, I'm tired, I want to go? No, there was a point I said so. I told the sister that took me there, told her that I didn't want her to stay there. So she pleaded with me that I should stay. That for my place, like all the people that she have been taking there, like they don't have patience to stay. Mm. We stayed two years, three years ago. From so your place? Only, yes, I was the only one that was there. Like, I've still like more than eight years. I was mm. So when I, okay, I stayed there. That was my six years there that I told her. I told her that I don't want to stay again. So she now said that she just stay. That I was soon finish. Mm. Besides that, my SS2, that I was soon finish. So when I left, I did not tell her again. Sorry. Uh -huh. So why did you leave? Tell us why you left. <laughs> <laughs> Like where I left, we do not have a reason. Not a reason. I thought it was because we were matching. Yeah, I guess. The way she was acting, like she was not friendly, and if the sister discovered, she was always like because she trusts me that she believed that I'm both to go and tell her, mm. like among the children, she believed that I would be able to go and tell her that this what is going on. Mm. I, as I was not saying it, and she's hearing it from outside. She was like. Why, why are you not saying it? She was always putting the blame on me. Mm. And the children, they were, because of what she's doing, she's leading the children to do what they're not supposed to do. Like, we're not supposed to keep money. Like, when mm. we went there, we're not supposed to keep money. Like, that she's leading the children. If they dash their money now, before they go and give it to the sister to keep for them, but they will use it to go and buy something to eat. Okay, but, and if sister discovers, she'll be like, I'm big. Why did I not go and tell her? And why was I keeping it? Well, so I just left to prevent her. But you, you have asked said, did you ever, did they, did they ever go to your orphanage or did they try to put no. some orphanage? No. And we do have visitors too. Like, visitors, people do come there to visit us. As a visit to, like, people the children. Know, people that know you or just... Like, to give food. Okay. Like, those are these people that are helping the place to stand. Like, if it's only her, she'll not be able to do it. She used to say that. Like, they used to support her, like, churches, okay. do great food, yeah, money. No, 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 no. Like her relatives, they are in abroad, like her brother's children. So they used to help her too. What? Like I even saw a post, she posted. She, during December, she was telling the people there, she said, as they are shopping, that like she remember to shop for the member of their children. Okay. She was telling that she, there, she used to ask. So the orphanage, uh, was it owned, was it started or was it owned by the sister or by yeah. a church? There was a, she started it, she just had an idea because her own sister, started a place like she used to help all these handicapped children. Okay. She's the, fe the first sister that, the first person that did it is the sister. So mm. she now learned from there. So she started with one boy, like the father. 
came to the hospital because the place is close to the hospital. Mm. So the father came to the hospital and they, they discovered that the boy was having HIV. Was having HIV baby, newborn baby. So the mother died in the process. So the father just dropped the child and ran away. So okay. the hospital they didn't know what to do and they didn't know how to take care of the child. So they went to her. So mm. she now said that she can that they can't throw the child away, they can't allow the child to die. Mm. So she now started with the child. That was the boy she started with. The boy is still there now. He's should be ten years now. Mm. He's big. Okay. So she No, but instead with the child how wait, how old is the orphanage? The orphanage is going to eleven years now. Oh, okay. So you came early. It's not like you you, you came little, little, little. After that, then she now saw a girl. That was in the house that like was nurse. Mm. The mother, the mother and father was late, so mm. they came there and dropped her. From there, she started with five children. Mm. Started taking care of five. From there, we started bringing them children. Like what she should does, like if not only orphanage children, like if. You have a family, even if you have a mother and father, and they are not able to take care of you. Instead of you to stay there and be wasting, okay, you should just bring it like she take. Oh, okay. So not not all the children there have um, okay have lost parents. Yes, like oh. even if you have a mother, you don't have a father, she can mm. still take, take care. care of you. Yeah. Okay. Long as you cooperate to stay, like yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So that was really nice. Well, let's come and start frying first before we continue this. Our our gist. <laughs> Why she wants somebody from there that she will hand over the thing, knowing that she's old, she will soon die, all those yeah. kind of things. She wants to hand over it to one of the children. <laughs> laughing. Yes, now she's old now, you don't know when. <laughs> but it's old now. Like that's her mindset. <laughs> that's her mindset, knowing that she's old. That's her mindset. She, she's always ready. She used to tell us now. <laughs> to say, knowing that I'm going to die anytime, like I'm old. <laughs> She's always ready. Yeah. Oh. Sit down there, don't go and be praying. <laughs> Sit down there. She's always ready. Yeah, <laughs> ready. I said, she's always ready. If you yeah. ask Anna, if you die today, now where will you go to? That's what she used to ask us. So she yeah. said, as you are seeing me, in my own human way, I'm always ready. Yeah, right. <laughs> there was one child that we were having, the child died. Mm. What happened? Okay, he was sick. They brought the child like that. He was not brought up well. No mm. good health, so they were not trying to help the boy. Mm. Like he died, was from there he now she was not crying. She now said, "You see it? This small child can die. I'm mm. old. I'm 80. Mm. <laughs> so that is not by age. Yeah. Anybody can die at any time." Yeah. Okay, okay so you see, she's looking for a son that lives the orphanage too. No, that like we that stay there. Like mm. now we know how to take care of the place. Like if you become a sister, like she don't want to give it to a married person, and now okay. she carry it and give it to you as a married person, you have to. If they bring it now, you'll be giving it to your, your children, family, yeah. or the family. She does not trust anybody. Like as a stand now, she does not trust anybody outside. Mm. And she was wishing to, like one of but us to yeah, become yeah. a sister. Mm. Then she will hand over everything Why to that person. Become a sister. I don't understand. <laughs> 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 like, like, then she will hand over. <laughs> Like to hand over everything to the person, mm. like she will not believe that the person was brought mm. up there. You know what she was doing, mm. and you understand what to do and how to take care of the yeah. children. But it's not easy because yeah, that's why she easy. don't want mm -hmm. to give it to any any other person. Even her fellow reverend sister, she does not trust them like that to so yeah. just give. Even by now, she would have hand over it to, to somebody, but she's still looking for somebody to hand over it to. And she was always praying. She said, if like if one of us, as soon as you just enter, like mm. you're inside the reverend sister, would like, even mm. if you have not a complete sister, mm. she like she'll be happy. And even what if is, she what, died, what if she now die? And the person changed. The person not change, you No, like she will still understand. So that she even as she die, you know that okay. I gave my children yes. to somebody okay. that I trust. Mm. That's her wish. Yeah. Just wishing, like for somebody that understand the children, that know that mm. this person loves these children so mm. much. I just want that she's there. She should know that. She should know that. She should know that. But don't be a reverend sister. <laughs> That's the part that she should have removed, Sha. Because me, I don't believe in. I believe that someone that is married too can do it. It's just about to. Like it's just somebody yeah. to trust. Mm. You know the word. Yeah. Because, because all the people that she has been that used to come there, if you shout for us anyhow, she's like, mm. she don't look in one eye. Yeah. And if you are shouting for the children, she used to look very well. She's mm. observant. Even as she used to, she don't used to come out too. She come out in the morning and come and eat and go back. Mm. She used to think, no. 
she'll be observing. She hearing your voice from there, shouting mm. for the children, she's just marking it like that. Mm. Yeah, this one must stay. Do you think that you are better off in the orphanage or being at home? Mm? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that your life would have been better? As in knowing how your house was, not not if you're not if things are different at home. Saying your house versus orphanage, where do you think your life would have been better? Mm. I think orphanage was better. Because mm. in my home growing up, like they don't like really? shout for you like because of that, like they were actually spoiling me. You know, mm. in my home they don't like they believe that they will allow you to do what you, you want, want to do. And children, they are not something like to allow, like, yes, lose. Yes. Like, I was so loose, like, you allow me to do anything. And even if you shout, I have a choice. Like, mm. if you shout for me, like, I have a choice. If I'm angry, mm. they'll still say sorry because knowing that they don't want me to leave now, mm. to run out of the house, all those kind of things. So I think there was better because then they will not look at your face. Yeah. So knowing that what she's telling you is yeah. right and yeah. it's good for you. Because my uncle that I grew up with, he, he doesn't beat children and he doesn't talk. Mm. Like, he allows you to do anything that you want, but he knows that you eat. Mm. You, so if a child does not eat, that's not, not real training. That's not real. Yeah. You can't just leave a child just to do yes, anything. Yes. Yeah. It's not love, let me put it that way. Thank you for giving us an insight into how often it is. I think I can now understand. But I still no, it's believe, not all often it is. Yes, I still believe that like I have to put on the special. Yes. The stories I used to hear of orphanages, I mean, I've even witnessed... Even she has said she used to say, like, mm. the ones she used to hear, there are some that you will go there, like, there are nothing to write home yes. about. Yes. There was one we visited one day, and I just, I, in fact, I, this I was so happy. This one people like home. it, like, mm. people love the place, like, they used to go there, just mm. give yes. it to You can even go and they used to celebrate, people used to come there, celebrate birthday with us, mm. all those kind of things. Mm. And even if they bring the cake, she can never cut it and go and keep that. For her, for her like she yeah. does not do that. Instead, she will say, At least we're going to put it in the fridge later mm. tomorrow. Come and carry it. You push, you go and eat it. Okay. And then, when I'm ready to carry it, just to come and tell her we have carried it. And that's mm. what she does not. The place is actually okay. But were you anything special there? Like, were you a prefect or do people have systems like prefect or things? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. she she believed that, like, if you are big, mm. I was a senior. I love when the those the big girls left, like mm. I was the senior there, okay. and the other one, other boy. Like for the girls, I was the one doing everything. Okay. Ah. I feel like I was not the most senior. <laughs> you the senior. Yes, like oh, there was somebody there that senior me. She was. She only knew that like I'm just blessed like, with the responsibility. Like I love taking responsibility. I like taking That's anything that. Maybe in her heart, she's praying that she can take it. <laughs> I said, you are not happy. <laughs> you are not happy. happy that I left, child. Mm. Because when I left, like, I was the one, everything I was the one doing it. Even, like, the choir practice, I was the one organizing mm. everything. And when I left, she was angry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you want to support the orphanage, Support at your own risk, but I feel from what she has said, she, I feel like it's a good place to support. If there are any orphanages around you that is, that you know that you can support, try and support them because she's very hardworking. She's making a life for herself and she passed through an orphanage. So if there's any orphanage around you that you can support, just try, okay? Instead of you to buy two drinks, buy one and carry the remaining money and save, or go and give some orphanage because. Everything goes a long way, right? Anything yeah. they, they are able to donate goes a, wrong, a long yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, that's it. Uh, these are our delicious pancakes here yeah, <laughs> that we're about to eat. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.